Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to shorten this skirt while keeping the fray. So let's go. This is a nice short skirt. We will make it a little shorter, just it looks nicer. What I did, I asked the customer to try on and then I pin where she looks good at the front and then pin at the back at the same length. That's why I have two pins and this one looks like it's longer, but on hair it's perfect. So that's very important when you take a short skirt that you pin the front and the back because if I go there, then here will be too short and she will complain. So that's my length. What I'm gonna do, I will trace my required length, but I will have to cut it a little longer just because we wanna do the fray. So I trace here straight, I trace here straight, and then I will encounter these two lines. Then I will go three quarter inches longer than I require. I will mark inside as well. Now we are going to cut it. Make sure that the marks are well done. And then we are going to stitch it to secure the edge after it's frayed. So let's go. So we are trying to find a nice, oh, this one is very good, you see? And you cannot see it, right? Okay, perfect, let's go. This is Jenny's stitch, it won't open, but just in case, I will just reinforce. And I'll do that here and here. So what I'm gonna do, I will just pass two top stitch where the line is, just to secure the line of the hem. So I finish here. In this side, I will put a pin because now I will forget where I started and then I will do my second one. I left here more than I really needed. I probably needed like a just half an inch, but because I don't know exactly how this uh, material will behave, I left a little bit more and I will probably need to cut it after. So, you know what will be the next step, right? The next step will be to pull out all the thread. So, let's do it. So as you can see, I'm pulling all those thread to start the fraying look. This is the thread. I am pulling the thread like that. And I'm not trying to be consistent because after, my jeans will look much better if you have some of this white thread. Now I will start to leave some white thread too because at the beginning I was removing all of it. But now I will start leaving it. So to leave the white thread, what you do, you just don't remove all the thread around. You just leave a little bit all the time and that's it. So now we are halfway. We will wash the skirt so it will fray more and it will get a nice look and then we will finish. So let's go.
This is how the skirt came out from the washing machine. But still, we need to do just a tiny bit more and that uh, we will be done. This one, what I'm gonna do, I will do it pair pieces because now I want to leave a lot of this. So for that, you see what I'm doing? I'm coming here and then I will cut, cut it. See, I've been cutting it all of it. That's it, and then I'll pull it. So let's just work on it. So you see, I left a lot of white thread. Now I will just trim it, but not really much. You don't trim it like a straight. You trim it like a, you are a very nice barber. I will use a not so sharp scissor. See? Same thing here. Because uh, what you don't want is all those hair at the same length, right? Look at that. Looks better than the original. Let me show you the original. You see? Fantastic, huh? Okay. Well, guys, that was all for today. Today we did such a nice hem in this skirt. If you like this video, please share, subscribe, comment. Bye.